Hey, what's up YouTube? Steve here with the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel. And today we're doing a comparison between the Akeso V50X and the GoPro Hero 7 Silver. So stay tuned and we'll break it down for you. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. All right, now you might be asking yourself, why is he filming outside in the wind and the sun? And the reason is, because that's where we're doing the comparison on the two cameras, so you can kind of see how they mesh up. And I'm shooting this with my iPhone 11 XS, and I wanted to shoot it, iPhone 11, iPhone X, you know, I don't know if it's an iPhone 11 XS or if it's iPhone XS, I can't even keep up anymore, but this is an iPhone XS that I'm shooting with using iMovie. And I wanted to shoot the intro and the end of this video with this camera. All right, so now that you know the stakes, let's jump right into it and we're gonna start with the Akeso. All right, y'all, so first up, this is the Akeso. This particular one is the Akeso, that's the dog. The quality on the video is, is good, as you can see looking at it. Um, my biggest complaint with the Akeso is the audio. So right now I'm shooting the video for the Akeso and the GoPro without the, uh, the cases on. The GoPro is waterproof without the case. The GoPro case doesn't cover every aspect of the GoPro because it doesn't have to. The Akeso case is like many of the GoPro knockoffs that you see where it's that clear clamshell type case that completely surrounds the camera. So the first negative to the case is it, it affects the microphone, the audio pickup, whereas the GoPros does not. Uh, the second negative to the Akeso's clamshell type case is that it makes it very difficult to hear the beat on the camera output when you're out recording. So let me give you an example. When I'm out in the kayak um, and I have the Akeso in the waterproof case, because the important thing to note here, it's not waterproof in any way, shape, or form without the case. It's not like the GoPro. So if you want to protect it from water, it's got to be in the case. So if I have the Akeso set up on the kayak behind me for a third person type view, which is usually what I use it for, and I go to turn it on, it's got like this, it doesn't have the beeps like the GoPro does, it's got like turn on music, it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. and you can't hear it through that case. Not outside anyway, if you're sitting in like your living room, yeah, you'll probably hear it, but you're not gonna hear it through the case. So it's very difficult to tell when the queso is on, that's number one. It's difficult to get the phone. I have an iPhone XS. I have three different apps, the Akeso one, the Smart DV one, and then a different one. Uh, it is very difficult to get the Akeso Wi-Fi to con con connect nine out of 10 times. I know everybody doesn't have this problem, but I've had three iPhones in the time that I've had this camera, and they've all had the same issue. Um, so it, it's the Akeso. So, it's hard, to, it doesn't do great on audio. It's hard to hear when it turns on, when it's recording, when it turns off, <clears throat> which kind of segues into my probably least favorite thing about the Akesos. They do not have one touch recording, at least not this one, and I don't believe the other ones do either. With my GoPro, no matter where I mount it, I know if I hit the record button, it's gonna turn on, I'm gonna hear the very loud beeps confirming that it's on and recording, and when I hit it again, it's gonna turn off. And that makes <clears throat> saving the battery and shooting on a dime. I mean, that thing is you hit record and it boots on fast. It records. It's good to go. The Akeso, it doesn't work that way. You have to turn it on, know that it's on, get it recording. So for fishing, like in the kayak, the, it's a serious disadvantage. On the other hand, the Akeso is very affordable. The quality is very good. So, especially if you don't need to use the waterproof case on it, if you're doing stuff that doesn't involve water or you're not that concerned about it getting wet, then the Akeso, a lot of those disadvantages for the Akeso go right out the window. Because when you're not using the case, this thing 
becomes much more versatile. Let's jump over to the GoPro. <laughs> so I said let's jump over to the GoPro, and I got one more negative we need to hit it with. It does not always start or stop recording when you tell it to. I, I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Sometimes with the Acaso, you hit the record button, and it doesn't start. Or like this example, I said, okay, let's jump to the GoPro. And I flip it around, and I, the screen is on, and I hit the button for it to stop recording, and it just ignores me because it doesn't want to. What's up, guys? So we jumped over to the GoPro. This is a GoPro Hero 7 Silver. Now, <clears throat> number one disadvantage of the GoPro Hero 7 Silver is the battery. It's internal, and you can't change it out. So I don't know a whole lot about GoPros. I'm new to this, just like a lot of you watching this video probably are. This GoPro was a good price. I wanted a GoPro, so I bought it. I love this GoPro. I just wish that it had a battery that I could switch out. Um, I will probably go to the GoPro Hero 7 Black next because I really like the 7. Um, I might go to the 8. I need to do some research. I don't know which GoPro I'm going to next, um, but I am going to make sure I get one that I can swap the batteries out in because when this one, when I'm out on the water and this one dies, that's it for this one. Um, you can get external batteries for this one, I believe, but I don't really want to lug that around. So that is the only disadvantage I'm going to give you on the GoPro. You cannot go wrong with a GoPro. That is the bottom line. There's a reason that they're number one. So as you can see in the side-by-side -side comparison of this one to the Acaso that I just showed you, video is very, very comparable. Audio is comparable, plus side goes to the GoPro. Um, oh, my mistake. I'm gonna give you two disadvantages on this GoPro. The second one is I can't hook in an external mic like I thought I could. You cannot use an external microphone with the GoPro Hero 7 Silver. So can't use an mi external microphone, can't swap out the batteries. That's the two disadvantages of this one. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The video is very comparable. Advantage goes to the GoPro, but honestly, the Acaso does very well. Audio, advantage goes to the GoPro, the Acaso does very well. My number one, number one favorite advantage of this camera, and I kind of hit on it when I was talking about the Acaso, is the one touch recording and the alerts that let me know it's recording. So I'm out on the kayak, I got this thing on my chest, um, I hook up on a fish, I want it to record. I reach down, I hit the record button, I'm done. It throws out the beeps, lets me know it's on, lets me know it's recording. When I'm done, I hit the record button, it lets me know it's done and it shuts off. There's a, a very seamless communication between me and the GoPro. I know it's doing its job, and it's do, it does its job very well. So that, that's my number one biggest advantage, honestly. Uh, number two is the ease of use with the GoPro, with the GoPro app. So when the thing's on my head, I don't necessarily, I haven't got the knack. I know a lot of guys have been doing this for a long time. They don't need to see where the camera's pointing. They already know. But when this thing is in a position where I can't look at the back of the screen, so like when it's on my chest, I can take a peek. I, I know where it's aiming at. When it's on my head, when it's on the dashboard, if it's in the third person, I can't see what it's doing. The GoPro app connects seamlessly every time, has never given me a problem. I can immediately see where the camera's pointing, make my adjustments, and I'm done. I can't say that for the Acaso. It fails nine times out of 10. So while the GoPros are more expensive, they are the better option. That said, if you're watching this video, you're probably doing so because you're new to YouTube and you wanna get started. Shoot with what you have. You don't need to dump a bunch of money into cameras. You can get GoPros at a good price, but let's say you spend 500 bucks, you start shooting, you decide, oh my God, this is a pain, I'm sick of doing it. Editing is a nightmare, nobody's watching my channel, and you give up. Can you get your money back from the GoPros? Yes, absolutely. But that's still $500 you put out there for what at the moment is an experiment. You can tell my arms are getting tired. I keep going back and forth. Don't need to drop a ton of money on the GoPros. You don't even need to drop the money on in a queso if you got a smartphone. I still shoot, I say still, like I've been doing this a long time. I've only been doing it for 30 days, but I shoot the majority of my footage as far as like this kind of footage with my iPhone. 
I shot the introduction of this video with my iPhone. I shot the closing of this video with my iPhone. You don't need to spend a ton of money. So if you're looking to get an action camera and you're not quite ready to jump to the GoPro, the Akeso is a very solid option. Like I said, I've got two of them. I still use them. Um, as I add action cameras in the future, they will absolutely be GoPros, but the Akesos are responsible for a lot of the footage I shot that helped me decide that this is what I wanted to do and help, honestly, help me learn why I needed and wanted a GoPro. So advantage goes to the GoPro, obviously, as far as professionalism, as far as cost out of the box to get you going, advantage goes to the Akeso. Well guys, I hope this video helped you with your decision making between the Akeso and the GoPro. I'm going to leave links down below to both of the cameras that I use that you where you can go to Well guys, I hope this makes you help and little man suck today. This video help hope it Okay, we're going to get it right this time. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helps you make a decision about which action camera to buy. I'm going to put links in the description to where you can buy both of them. As always, I hope that you'll subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so that you know when new content is available. Don't forget to leave us a comment, especially if you have experience with these cameras, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.